We're at B and K Salt Beef Store in London. And we got Johnny. Okay, Jerry, I'm going to pretend, I'm going to pretend that, that you're not actually there, okay? Because I'll start rushing and. Uh... <laughs> this is the. Uh, Sorry, the forgotten you... art of. Uh, I'm trying, I'm trying to be totally natural here and uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not happening, is it? Have you wait for a lot of it, my dear? Yeah. Yeah, right. Is there a lot of it? Is there a lot of it? Did I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be quite pissed you. Take all you can get, it'll be great. Should I carry that? Yeah, do you mind? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you, are you. Are you just taking pictures? No, I'm taking a video. Oh, that's even more scary. Right, you'll have to excuse me one second. What is your best I... side, Johnny? Straight up. Straight up? <laughs> <laughs> what no you see is what you're going to get. I'm no profile. Anything. I'm not hiding anything. You, you, you can actually, you can actually t uh, video me doing this. I've got to go and give this young lady a kiss. <laughs> I'll give this young lady yeah, a kiss. I don't want to be on your video. I'm you don't so want to be on no, a video? No. no? Okay. <laughs> this is a family store. I think they've been here for about 40 years. And it's called uh, it's called B and K Soapy. And um, they're in uh, North London and they make the best salt beef you ever had. Salt beef being corned beef in the United States. And, uh, and people uh, come here, uh, their children come here and uh, they slice the corned beef uh, the way they used to do it in the old days. Um, not with a slicer, but they take a regular piece of meat as you can see here and they cut off all the fat and uh, they make uh, delicious sandwiches and chopped liver and fish balls and you name it just uh, fantastic and uh, it's done the old way uh, i'm ready yes how quickly do you want me to carve quickly Oh, really oh, oh yeah, that's it, baby. Oh yeah. Keep it, it brings keep, back the memories of the old days. Keep it in your pants, young man. Uh, time and a place, they tell me. Time and a place. That's right. You know what they say? All good things come to those who wait. <laughs> We're gonna take a uh, salty wing to go. Yeah. Mustard on the side. I'm and the, and the one thing you do that's different, you put you put the the mustard on, on the on the salt beef, not on the bread, right? Some people go that way. In, so in the U.S., yeah. they only put it, it on the bread. Depends on the mood. Was it mustard for you? Yeah. That's yeah. great. So how long have you been coming here, sir? Several years. Several years. That's several years. Yeah. Did your your family come here before? Um, no, my, I, I found that I found that back the back of 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 the back yeah, but the cutting off the fat is part of the, uh, the technique. Yep, part of the show. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, if you cook the beef without the fat, you might as well put it in the dustbin because right. it loses all of its flavor through, you know, straight into the water. I agree. You can always trim it, but you, you can't actually add it if, you, if it's not on there in the first place. It sort of changes so my, the whole process. My cousin Spencer used to like a lot of fat, right? Yes, I, I got in trouble with him last week, or two weeks ago, so I say. Oh, you, oh, you gave him a lot of fat? And he no, just, no, his wife oh, you wouldn't. Him, oh, his wife was here. She instructed Gina. Uh, yeah. On the side. On the side. Yeah. And, uh, she instructed Gina that I wasn't to give him any fat. Sorry? Four fish balls in the bill. 
She instructed Gina to tell me that he wasn't to have any fat. Right. Uh, and uh, so I sent him some beef over. He had mixed beef and tongue. I don't forget these things. Right. Um, and then the next time they came in, which was the, he came in the following week, um, it, uh, I'm just trying to recollect uh, right. what happened. I said to him, ah, you see, I got it right because I was instructed. And he said, don't you ever do that again. He said to me, that was Spencer. <laughs> Doesn't matter what she says, I have to do as, um, as, he, as he eats it, not as she would have him eat, have him eat it. Because it's very rare that he actually comes in with his wife to see it. It's usually uh, by himself or with the boys. Right. Because you know, when they have lunch meetings and things like that. Four fish balls, did I hear Jerry? So Johnny, yeah. Johnny. Yeah. See, I was tell, listening. Johnny, tell me about your father again. Your father came here in what year was that? I think 1957. Right. He came from Cyprus. And he got a job working in what was what used to be called the Nosh Bar for Jack Davis. Right. And he learned his trade there and in the other sort of bars that were on um, on the same parade, which was uh, Phil Ravens and Carols. And basically he learned his trade up there. He was headhunted by other people. He actually opened up what was known as the brass rail in Selfridges. Yeah. He in 1966, he actually opened that up. But you found a little cutting in the art. Actually, my niece came. But you, but you, you make all the, you make like lakshim pudding, like my mother used to make it. You make the fish balls, like my mother used to I'll make. I'll tell it. you what we make the way your mother used to make, and that is the lakshim pudding, the strudel, the fish balls, the chopped liver, the salt beef is pickled naturally in the old way, the tongues. Right. Um, basically everything we do is the old way because right. we don't know any other way. Right. We know the original way that it was made that it was taught to us and it's been handed down. Right, and, and, you, pi and you pickle it yourself. Oh yeah, everything everything is done here. We've got our own cold store where we pickle everything. Terrific. You know, it's, um, yeah, Listen, it's, give my love to Michael. I hope I'm looking into the right... Uh, you, oh, you're, you're, fan you're fantastic. And, and, and always it's <laughs> by far the best salt beef in all of them. Now I'm going to blush. Now it's blushing time. Okay, I agree with that 100%. No question about it. I don't know how I hold myself and, and together. And their liver, and the liver and onions is just fantastic. So if you're hungry for the old world, <laughs> yeah. stop by b &K Salt Beef Bar and Restaurant, 11 Lanson House, White Church Lane, <laughs> it's worth the trip. <laughs> right. Oh dear. I'm go I, I can't, You're going to be on YouTube. Do, do you watch YouTube? Uh, do you watch YouTube? No, I haven't done so far. But oh, your kids probably watch it. Okay. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll uh, give me. A, you got a, you got the card. I'll, I'll send you something. Okay. I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut. I'm told it's time. Johnny's crying. Look at this. No, he's not crying. Tears he's, of joy. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> we just get to Thank you, Jim.